Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a sort of a review video. It was going to be a get ready with me, but I was having all types of technical difficulties. So the get ready with me part is sort of gone. So we are going to be doing swatches instead of a get ready with me. You can see the look that I have today that I use this palette for. The palette that I am talking about is the ColourPop um, Disney's Hocus Pocus Gather Round Sisters palette. So this is their um, Halloween palette. I also have a couple of other Halloween palettes, sort of Halloween palettes from Revolution. Let me know if you want to see a video on those. This is the outer packaging, very pretty. Gather Around Sisters, and it looks like an old book. You can see like the spine. I forgot what they called that book. But this is what the palette looks like. So you see a cauldron on the front, and you see the Gather Around Sisters here, and the Hocus Pocus. The cauldron is sort of in a bronzy tone. And then on the back, you have your shade names. And when I open it up, you have this cute picture of the sisters here. And then you see you have your shadows here with all of the shade names. Those greens and then the berries beside it definitely call my name. So the look that I did today is um, with these two sort of berry shades. And then I put a little bit of this green here in my inner corner and a little bit under my eye. It looks a little bit like a greenish gold on my eye, like around my eye. And then um, I went in first with the matte at the bottom and this is called Dead Man's Toe. And I put that all over the lid and then the, like blended it out into the crease. And then I went into on top of that on my lid with this color here, which is Thackeray Binks and the green shade that I used in the inner corner is called Yabos or Yabos. I don't know how to say that, but that is that there. I also used Hello Salem on the brow bone and I used On Toast, which is here as like a transition shade. But you get 15 shadows in this palette and let me grab a makeup wipe because we are going to swatch them and i'll tell you what the shade names are i think and you know me i like never have my information together let me see if it's still available on um ulta because that's where i picked it up from All right, so um, I looked at the Ulta website. It's not available on the Ulta website. On the ColourPop website, they have it where you could buy, well, it says email me, so I'm assuming that it's like on back order. Um, you can buy the whole collection. And, or you can buy the whole collection or you can buy the, um, glitter set but those both say email me that's what happens when i wait too long to do these videos but um i kind of wanted to show you anyway just in case you want to keep your eye on the ColourPop website to see um when that comes back so we are going to go by rows the top row is indeed the most neutral row and I'm going to switch from left to right. So the first one is Full Moon. And Full Moon is like a matte with a glitter in it. There is Hello Salem, which is a sort of peachy color. There is Brew Potion. And Brew Potion feels a little gritty up under my... um. This is definitely a unique sort of formula. It sort of feels like a glitter, 
but it feels like a glitter mixed with something else. So it looks like if you put it on your eye, it'll stay in place on your eye. On toast is your sort of tannish traditional, um, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Transition shade. And then the shade on the end is called Coven and it looks like a sort of cafe brown sort of mauve mixture with some glitter in it. Um, the second row is called Come Little Children. Let's wipe this off. And so far, very pigmented. I did enjoy the way they did blend together on my eyelids. Um, Come Little Children is sort of a cool brown and it looks like it has like a pinkish color glitter in it not quite sure uh, the next one is called tis firm and it is sort of a shimmery almost cranberry type shade the next one right here is really creamy this is the one that i have on my lid today and this one is called thackeray binks really pretty that one went on so nice and smooth and beside Thackeray Binks is Yabos and that's that green shade really pretty and then they have I call it a bus and this is a black and it looks like it has like multicolored um, glitters in it the last row, the first one is called Wench, and that is a silvery shade. The next to that is called Night of Frolic, which is a wine shade. That was one swipe right there. Next to that is the sort of berry color that I use, and this one is called Dead Man's Toe. Trust me, I had a little bit of trouble because these things were so pigmented that I I felt like it was like concentrating in one slot and I had to in one spot and I had to do a lot of blending. Um, next to Dead Man's Toe is this matte green, sort of an army green color. And this one is called Bewitched. And then the last one is actually my type of shade. It's called Goodbye Cruel World. Yes. I can see putting this one on your lid is just one eyeshadow and being done with it but that is it um swatching and i know people don't necessarily like finger swatches because they say they don't indicate how the product will perform on your eye but as you can see from my eye and you know i have a problem with like putting a bunch of concentrated colors on my eye like my looks are usually pretty neutral this to me for me it's quite a bit of color so i would say that the pigmentation in this palette is really really good um the colors are gorgeous especially like these four right here one two three and four no so going the wrong way this one this one this one and this one those four right there are absolutely gorgeous so this palette even though it is sort of themed it's like your Halloween hocus pocus Disney palette you can use this palette like all fall long this is definitely a fall palette if I had already done this video this would have been in my um, one of my choices for a fall palette because that is gorgeous not only that it has a lot of shades that are women of color friendly like only the first sort of the well actually I think women of color can use every single shade in this palette and I do not say that often so really good palette if you can get your hands on it keep sort of stalking Ulta and stalking um, the ColourPop website to see if it'll come back cross our fingers because it is kind of close to Halloween. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed. 
please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.